Welcome back to the Handy Landlord. Well, I do a ton of plumbing. This uh, Ryobi Drain Auger P4001 is actually what I carry in my van at all times. I think it's a great auger. I use it a ton for uh, bathtubs. It's very convenient to uh, take the overflow off and go down in through the overflow and snake the bath tub drain i recently kinked the old the cable that comes with it and they claim with this model that the cable is not replaceable so i'm getting ready to show you exactly how to replace this cable first step remove the battery here is my setup i just have a couple blocks a couple spare pieces of wood right here that i have set up uh, the next thing you'll need is a magnet and then a Torx tin. This is the only tool that you'll really need. All right, so you have it set up on the blocks of wood. Go ahead and pull the cable out as far as you can. All right, so the cable is pulled out as far as it can and it actually has a bulb on the, on the end, about a foot from the end to prevent it from coming all the way out. Now what you're gonna wanna do is remove all of these screws so there's actually 16 screws that you want to remove every one on this face you're going to want to remove there's a quick tip um, these little magnets come from harbor freight so i'm just going to pop one on the end of here so that i can it's just a few screws left that i can't get so i can go ahead and get those screws out of there because whenever i take it apart I don't want to have them falling everywhere and I just want to double check that I have all the screws out of every one of these holes. Now what you're going to do is gently pry this apart. Alright, so prying it apart. This is the important end down here to be very careful. There are a lot of parts in there. But this is not that hard. It's just kind of tedious to be honest. So you want to pop it apart just like that. The blocks of wood are very important um, because if not, your drum would actually have lifted up right now and all of these pieces would have came out. But having the board set up at an angle and then that, so this little clamp portion right here can actually be um, down sticking through. That's very important to get it back together. So I'm trying to give you guys a view of this. So this one kind of popped, this little black thing popped out. I just put it back. So, you have two of these little black things right here. Now, whenever you, whenever you turn this clamp, which is this piece, whenever you engage this, it pushes these two black pieces and puts pressure on these two pieces of metal right here, which clamp down on the wire, which is right back there. These two metal pieces on each side clamp down on that wire. The auto feed feature, how the auto feed feature works is you actually pull up on this, this black handle portion right here, which puts tension on these bearings down here. And then you engage this switch. So that spring right there is what's keeping it down to keep it unengaged. Let's say that all of this stuff, you pull your cable out and all and all this stuff comes apart. Oh no. Okay. So let's say all this stuff came out. All this stuff either all this stuff either came out, so all of your mechanism right here came out. One thing that can happen is um, your cable is actually stuck inside of the drum. So what you have to do is you have to lift up on this motor, you have to take those the four screws out, and then this drum casing will pop out of there and you can get your um you can get your cable you can get your cable out of there. So once you get your cable out, put the drum back together with no cable in it, and then um you will be ready to start installing the cable in this method right now. So I'm going to set this gray clamping piece into place. I'm going to show you how everything else goes back together. I'm going to go ahead and set this in there so that the um, ball bearing is at the top. Okay. 
just set it in there for now it's fine um, and then I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna set all I'm gonna set these parts aside right here set these parts aside for right now and then I'm going to take the handle portion right here and just set it here and now I'm gonna feed in the cable and then take the cable end which is this end right here feed it through you're gonna feed it through here if stuff kind of comes apart it's no big deal and then I'm going to place my hand back here on the motor itself all right so now feed the cable through get the cable started in the drum you gotta kind of work around it's pretty tricky don't worry about if the parts and pieces go flying I mean as long as they stay on the cable you're fine which is that right there so you want to get the bulb into the drum all right so the, so the bulbs into the drum I'm gonna take a clamp and clamp down the cable to the actual table itself but what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these two clamps or yeah they are part of the clamping mechanism what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these and they slide in the slot just like that and this is where it gets tricky because there's two of them. So there's a, another one on the other side. So. Take your hex and Good news, you're past the hardest part. Getting those two clamps in, they go just like that right there. These little black clamps here are part of the clamping mechanism. Um, you wanna be careful putting these in because you don't wanna knock your, you can kinda of lift up on this and then they go just like that. That one went in smoother than expected. So, just like that, that's how they go. And then now uh, this one sits in just like that right there. Bam. Easy. All right. It's not too hard. It just takes a lot of patience. You do want to make sure that your motor stays in the groove and that these wires right here, the red and black wire stay down in there. Um, the motor is seated right now and you can actually tell it's seated because of this little thing right there rest on the green housing so and then that's how it goes all right so let's finish it up then you're going to want to slide this handle through and what you do just like that right there and then hopefully that's here we'll see that so that's how the lock goes. Forgot you got to kind of pull that out and do that at the same time. All right. So now the handle's in place, and now put your spring into place. So that's where you are right now. So you successfully put the cable in. You're good to go. Um, the motor's pushed down. Double check those wires because they really want to come out. And now what you are going to do slip this housing on now I like to start right over here start putting this end down and then I just slowly work my way towards the front um, here's where it gets kind of 
kind of tricky, but it can be done. So what you're going to want to do is clamp, push that together like that. Double check it. All right, so push your housing together, clamp it together. There, it just popped together. Um, just go around. So what you're going to want to do is go around to this front and make sure that this is all popped together. Just be careful not to just push down because it's going to want to come apart if you just start pushing it down. That bearing is um, kind of probably still trying to push up because the cable has a little bit of tension on it make sure that you leave your clamp on the cable until you are all done what you don't want to do over here is push down you want to pop your you want to pop your screw in one of these holes and then get it tightened up so that everything stays together okay so i'm gonna go through and pop all these screws in and then i will show you guys how to push the rest of the cable in all right so i currently have all the screws in what i'm going to do is release my clamp over here double check that everything's tight what i'm going to do is just start I'm gonna feed all the cable in now the only thing to do is to test it out and that's reverse forward clamp works and then the only thing left to check is the auto feed which the auto feed you actually pull up on this and then push that black thing in and there you go Congratulations, you just replaced your cable in your uh, Ryobi drain auger that they say is not replaceable.